Did you know that there's millions and millions of microbes that live on the skin and they all do different jobs? The skin microbiome is a community of microbes that lives on the skin surface and the skin surface forms its own little habitat where these microbes live. The symbiotic relationship between the microbes and the human can actually come together to help to shape the immune system. So the Asian Skin Microbiome Programme is about understanding the healthy skin microbiome in Singapore. The Asian Skin Biobank is a registered tissue bank and we provide human tissue as well as its derivatives of different ethnicity, body site, gender, as well as age group. In terms of R&D, ASB is really interested in looking out to improve our protocols, such as the isolation of melanocytes, as well as the reconstruction of 3D skin models. We are also looking out to improve cell-based assays uh, that is involved in the testing of different chemicals on skin biology. So we have a huge focus on Asian skin because it's an underrepresented area of research. The aim of the Asian Skin Microbiome Programme is to build a much deeper understanding of the skin microbiome in Asia. And this will hopefully give us more clues about the basic biology that can be developed and commercialised to work with industrial partners. Industry partners might be interested in testing out different chemicals and on its effect on skin biology. So we as the Asian Skin Biobank can come in to provide such services in terms of testing. At the same time, what's so unique about ASB is we provide skin cells from the same donor. Say for instance, keratinocytes and fibroblasts from the same Asian origin and also um, the reconstruction of 3D skin models. One of the interesting things about working in Asia is that there's lots of different environmental situations. So, you know, we have a lot of tropical regions around Singapore and Malaysia. But then as we go north in Asia, there's also much more temperate climates. And so it'll be interesting to see how the skin microbiome alters across these regions within Asia. In Singapore, we're very well set up to be a hub for looking at various different ethnicities uh, around the region. And hopefully by having a launch pad in, in Singapore, we can build a network around the region to start to collaborate out to different areas such as China and Japan.